Suck the laugh right out of my veins when you spoke my name. Got the kind of thing going that tips the scales. Yeah, you keep me sane. Hey, ladies, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be talking about lace frontals and what you need to know before you get one. So we always want to be late to the gods with our lace frontals, and even though it's not like a new thing, lace frontals are still a difficult thing. This is a lace frontal, it's actually a 360 lace band from Silly Hair off of AliExpress, and honestly, it made me a believer again in lace frontals and 360 lace bands and lace wigs. I'm obsessed with this 360 lace band wig that I created from Sealy Hair. In my head, I have three 20 inch body waves uh, bundles and then I have the 360 lace band that I sewed together to make a wig. And honestly, this is the best hair I've had in a very long time. Besides like the Indian hair that I was doing, this is the best AliExpress hair that I've had in about two years, I can say two years legitimately. And I'm just obsessed with this hair. So I just felt like for this video, I would show you guys how to maintain it kind of and what you should know or what they don't tell you. And I'm gonna use a silly hair to show you guys just because this hair is amazing. Let's get into this video. So what they don't tell you, tip number one, even if you have amazing hair, like the silly hair from AliExpress, lace frontals, lace wigs, 360 lace bands, they're all maintenance. It's a lot of freaking work. And don't think you're gonna be able to sleep in late, do what you was doing before, stay up all night, go to bed, wake up late. No, it's maintenance. You're gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier than you're used to, just to make it to work on time. Sometimes the thought of putting on your lace frontal the next day will haunt you in your sleep, but it's all good. It's all good. You'll still have to wake up at least 30 minutes before you normally wake up just to make it to work on time because of what you're going to have to do to make it late. So what they don't tell you, number two. When they say glueless, do they really mean glueless? Sometimes you could get a glueless lace wig. This is glueless. What I have underneath is a wig grip and I just think it's an amazing idea because you don't have to use the got to be glued gel. You don't have to use glue. You don't have to use lace tape, none of that. Literally put the wig grip on, put it on your head, and because of the like velour material, it's touching the lace, it does not go anywhere. It does not ship. You can pull it, you do whatever. And actually, it does ship a little bit. That's a disclaimer. I know lots of girls are saying, oh my God, it doesn't move. Your hair is not gonna move. It's freaking amazing. It is amazing. If the right person tugs it or the wind blows in the right direction, it might move. When chillin' with Bay gets real and your lace frontal slides off, this does not happen to you ladies don't be that girl that has her wig slide back when she's chilling with it you don't want that to happen to you that's why i like to make sure that i'm double secure with got to be glue gel let's talk about this got to be glue gel let's really talk about this got to be glue gel honestly it really is an amazing amazing idea but sometimes it can be a pain in the ass so what they don't tell you, number three, is about the got to be blue gel. Do not, do not, do not buy the yellow got to be glued gel because it will be your worst nightmare. Go walk around looking like you have danger all over the front of your head. It's not cute. So make sure you get the black got to be glued. It's the ultra hold gel. And make sure you're putting it on appropriately. Thanks to Tierra Monet, I finally figured that out because I had no clue what I was doing. So what you want to do is first apply your first layer all across your hairline. 
So it's gonna be a thin layer that you're applying across your hairline. After that, you wanna take your blow dryer and make sure it's on cool. That's another thing that they don't tell you. They don't tell you that it has to be on cool. If you have it on hot, that's what produces more of the, the white flakes that you'll see on, on the front. Now you want it to get tacky. Not too, too tacky, but you want it to get tacky to the touch. And then after that, you put on your second layer. But this layer, I think you need this layer to be a little bit less tacky than the first layer. So you're gonna blow dry, blow dry, keep blowing dry on cool. So when you're done with all of that, you wanna pull your wig, the whole lace, in front of the got to be glued. Before I was laying my lace right, but the front of my lace was touching the front of the, the line of the got to be glued. That's a no no. You want to make sure that the middle part of your lace. Is where it's getting tacked. It's where it's getting stuck on with the glue or the gel, not the very front. So my front of my lace could potentially lift up, but like the middle part of my lace is sticking to the Gatsunuzu gel, if that makes sense. And then I could always lay my baby hair with the Gatsunuzu gel or like some mousse and that can add for extra hold. Then after that, you take like a comb and you stick it down with a rat tail part of the comb and you stick it down. You don't really wanna use your fingers because the oils in your fingers could also cause more of the white dandruffy stuff. So occasionally, you might get the white dandruff on your hair. It looks like dandruff, but it's actually the glue. Um, I didn't show you guys in this video, but you just take it, take the wig, you put a little bit of conditioner or shampoo in the front and you just like rub it in and then you just make sure that you wash it off. Another reason why you might get some of the white dandruff stuff is if you're doing what I do and using eyeshadow to make my lace blend into my hair wet. So what they don't tell you, this next one is about your lace color. Make sure you don't go out of the house looking crazy with a lighter lace color than is actually supposed to be on your head. If you want to, change that lace color, but you don't want to you know, bleach the knots like other people are doing. You could either use eyeshadow like I do, or you can um, tint or dye the lace. I don't use liquid concealer. I don't use cream concealer. I like to use something that's like a powdery substance. I just feel like it's best for the frontals if you don't have something that's cream based. If you're buying a wig already made, be sure that you get one that is your head size. And if you don't know your head size, make sure you get a wig that has the adjustable straps in the back so you can pull it or release it. This one came with adjustable straps in the back, so since my head size is very small, I have, like, I think the smallest head size is 21. I have a long head, but my head size back here is so small. I use the, the adjustable straps and strap it, and then it just keeps my wig even more secure. So make sure your wig game is on point. So that's my little segment on what they don't tell you. If you have any questions, please put them down below, and please remember to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye.